Hi Gemini, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are cross-watching and welcome to your weekly tarot messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards will predict for you for the um, upcoming week or where you're at currently, emotionally, mentally. Uh, it is going to be a general reading so keep mindful of that. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So this reading here is intended for Gemini, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course for those of you that are cross-watching as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what the cards, what messages the cards hold for you. Okay, you've got a lot of fire energy here, and fire is very, um, very passionate. It's a very primal type of energy. Uh, I feel like there's a lot going on in, um, in the energies for you. Uh, I feel like there's a lot going on for you emotionally and mentally, he gemmies. There's a lot that's happening with you, and I feel like there's a strong sense of conflict and duality that are present in the energies. There's this push and pull. There's this this yes and no this you should do this or you shouldn't do this it's just this um what feels like an opposing force okay um it feels like maybe your heart is at war with your head it feels like maybe you need to make a decision of some sort but you don't know what it is that you need to decide on or who it is that you need to decide on uh, five of wands energy seems to indicate that there's a lot of resistance in the energy so either a choice or a decision needs to be made perhaps between two very different romantic uh, people suitors perhaps a choice or decision needs to be made between um, a career or love or something that I feel like is going to have lasting ramifications. You're hesitating because you're not decided, okay? You're not decided or there is something here that is very oppositional in the energies. Um, someone or something that maybe wants you to decide very differently to what you want. Or you feel like you don't want to decide between these two different people, between these two very different things. And you th feel like, you know, you want, um, you want it all or you want it all at once, so to speak. Um... See, with the Five of Wands energy, to me, it feels like you you haven't, um, you've given it a lot of thought, and I think you've even overthought this, and you've overanalyzed this, which is what's really adding to this conflicting energy, which is what's really adding to all of this confusion and this um, sense of disorientation in the energies, okay? It's because you have given this too much thought, you have given this too much of your mental energy to the point where you've exhausted you know all of these mental narratives here um, I think what you need to do is you need to take a step back and I think instead of looking at things from a logical standpoint maybe take a look at things from an emotional standpoint so you know how does this particular situation or this particular person makes you feel okay if it brings about some very good feelings in you um, it is a good sign if it brings about some very confusing um, and some maybe negative feelings then maybe it's not such a good sign so I feel like maybe try because you know you're an air energy and typically you do really rely on your on you know on logic and um, on reasoning here um, and you guys like to intellectualize um, you know the emotions and the un understanding but I feel like in this instance let your intuition guide you honestly I feel like it's going to get you out of this sticky situation it's going to uh, orient orient you more because right now it's very disorientating it's very confusion it's like you want to do this or you want to do that you want to choose this but you want to choose that and it feels like a choice needs to be made okay because 
you might have to choose to move on from someone and in moving on from someone the universe is then going to uh, bring a new romantic energy into your life but the universe can't uh, you know bring this new energy into your life until you've made that space until you've released this other person that you might be holding on to so this is why you need to make a decision and I'm not saying you can't have it all or you can't have it I just feel like you can't have it all right now if that makes sense like you eventually I feel like you can have you know the very thing and the very person that you want it's just that right now this choice this decision needs to be made okay and with the king of wands he's someone who's encouraging that you take action so you know no matter how little or small the action is you know what this choice and decision is for you um the lover seems to indicate a very strong energy of love so yes it could be referencing that this may be a choice when it comes to relationships okay you might be holding on to someone with the four of pentacles you might be holding on to uh, someone very uh, tightly and you know whatever whatever it is or whomever it is that you're holding on to this is a fee-based energy you're holding on to this person because you you fee losing them or you fee losing this relationship um be careful that, you know, your fees don't, won't necessarily bring about this very, um, it won't bring about this very thing that you fear, okay? Because you're putting so much energy and so much of your mental energy and emotional energy into it that sometimes, um, you know, it can bring about your wor worst case scenario, so to speak. So the lovers does seem to indicate some sort of choice needs to be made, okay? A decision or a choice. But ultimately, it could come down to a choice in love. It could come down to you making the choice from a place of love, okay? From a, from a place of self-love, from a place of self-forgiveness, from a place of deciding what's best for you. Putting yourself in complete soulful alignment with whoever or whatever this is. Also, the temperance card seems to indicate that right now you have to be very patient with yourself. Just because you, you'll take the necessary steps or actions towards manifesting this intention or manifesting this person manifesting this relationship or whatever it is that you want you're taking the necessary steps towards a certain study degree or a certain career path it doesn't necessarily mean your results are going to show up overnight it doesn't necessarily mean that you know your next course of action is going to bring about immediate results it most likely won't so this is why you have to be patient with yourself in making this choice or in making this decision this week and also being patient with the results because they will not spring forth overnight it might not even happen as soon as next week or next month but the wheels of change are going to be set in motion and that's the most important thing so just being patient with yourself with this process because some of you you've made the choice but it's like the results or the rewards aren't coming fast enough and you're being a little bit impatient or you know and maybe you're the one that's kind of like your energies are opposing each other in a sense where there's someone that you want but you're not being very patient with the way that the you know the pacing of the relationship or there's something that you want but you're not being patient whatever it is it's on its way to you gemini um and for some of you i know it's this energy where you know you wish you just had it yesterday already but the universe knows the best timeline for you, okay? And in order for you to get this very thing or this very person, I feel that the energies uh, seem to indicate that you're going to have to let something go and or you're going to have to leave some things behind. And whatever this is, there's a fee-based energy behind it. So you, the, the only reason that you're holding on to it is because you fear losing it. But what's meant for you, you cannot possibly lose and it cannot possibly be taken away from you. And even if it does, it will come back uh, to you, okay? Um, so you just have to... Um, you just have to be patient, patient with yourself, patient with the universe, and of course patient with the results and the rewards, because this very person or this very thing, this very situation is definitely on its way to you. I'm also seeing that there's you. There's something here you're going to have to offload, okay? It could be you or it could be a connecting energy with the Ten of Wands. This is a burdensome energy there's something here that's weighing you down okay whether it's emotionally and mentally so wh whether it means you have to bounce your ideas off someone whether it means you have to share your thoughts with someone um, it could be a, a romantic energy it could be a close friend a sibling a connecting energy here this person is going to and it's not you being selfish because whoever this person is i think they're going to be more than willing and more than happy to share this load with you so 
lessen the burden, lessen the load, offload to whoever this is, open up to this person, okay? You don't have to, you know, you don't have to carry this bundle of wands yourself. It's far too heavy for one person. Um, you can lessen this load. You can. So, you know, if that means talking, talking some things over with someone, if it just means, you know, having a listening ear or a shoulder to confide in, you know, whatever this means for you, I do think that there is someone, either there is someone who wants to offload something, get something off their chest, share this with you, um, you know, they just may want you to just be there, sit there and listen, or this is you, you're just wanting for someone to just be there, sit there and listen, and you know, it, it's better that you release whatever this is, okay, because you've been carrying it, and it's a little heavy, and I am starting to see that it's starting to weigh you down, or it's starting to weigh the situation down. Okay, and these are your messages. Thank you for uh, watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.